Hey y'all, Sarah here at the Hartley Homespun. Today I thought I would do a video that's kind of been circulating around YouTube and it is a what's in my makeup bag video and I thought I would share with that, that with you guys. And I don't have a lot of makeup, at least in my opinion, I don't consider myself to have a ton of makeup. I have a makeup bag. As many of you know, I was selling beauty kind of earlier this year, so I do have quite a few of their products, even though I no longer sell the products. I just always like to say that because I feel like that because I sold it and I really haven't like come forward and said, here's a video, why I don't sell it? I just haven't chosen to make a video yet about why I quit selling it, but there are reasons. And if you guys would like me to make a video, I definitely will, but I don't want to bash the company or anything like that. But I do still have a few products from them and I do like them. I just probably won't be repurchasing them, but I do like it. And I did get a makeup bag, which I really love. And it's a beauty counter makeup bag. That's why I keep all my makeup in. And then I do have this eyeshadow palette. And so yeah, let's jump right into this video. So yeah, I'll show you the eyeshadow palette first. It is this. And it has a lot of good colors. I mean, I personally think um, the coverage is not like, it doesn't blow me away on any of the products. I do not feel um, blown away, I guess. But they are really good. They do go on the skin really easy. Um, just put some like eyeshadow primer, excuse me, or concealer is what I normally use. But yeah, I really like them. You can use the darker ones as like, I think they're supposed to be like, um, I don't know, I think these are like your base colors, kind of the bottom maybe is the base color, and then this one is like the crease color, and this one's like the transition color, I think is how it's supposed to be set up, but as you can see, I go all over the place, that one's like my favorite one, that one I like, this one I use for like lips, and this one is like my very favorite, it's like the one I use for base all the time, so, but yeah, I just have these vegan brushes in here. These are my two, my only two eyeshadow brushes, and I do use them for my eyes as well. I use the angle brush for a lot of things. If I'm going to add eyeliner to the bottom lash line or the top lash line, I will do that as well, but a lot of times I just use regular like pencil liner, a retractable liner, and I can show you that, guys, in a second. Um, but the angle one works really good for doing your brows, and I do use eyeshadow for my brows. I don't use this eyeshadow palette. But, I mean, I'm sure there was, there's a color that would work. It's just, I tend to think that a lot of these turn off, even the brown one looks a tad orange once it's on my brows. This one doesn't, and that's the way I like it. But, um, but yeah, you can even use these colors as, like, eyeliner colors or brow colors. I just, like I said, there's a brown one that works for me. But to me, it comes off a tad bit orange, and I'm not crazy about that. And then this brush and my other eyeshadow brush, yeah, that's the extent of my eyeshadow eyeliner. And I started using this angled brush for, like, lips. I don't have it on right now, but a lot of times I will go in with one of these colors, the top colors, and then I will put a gloss over it, and I really like that. So that is my eyeshadow palette, my big eyeshadow palette. When that runs out, I probably will purchase something different. Then... Of course, I have the Beauty Counter Counter Match Adaptive Moisture Lotion, which I use as primer right now. And when I run out of that, I will be looking for something else. So comment below your favorite makeup primer. Then I've been kind of going back and forth. I'll, I'll tell you what been my favorite duo right now. It has been this CoverGirl True Blend in the shade L30. I did kind of a video on this because I really love it so much. And I've kind of been combining this with the Beauty Counter Dew Skin. It really gives a good color. And that's actually what I have on right now. And I absolutely love it. So I have these two foundations right here. Then I also have, I still have some Beauty Counter Foundation, the Tint Skin. And it's good. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good one. Then I also have this CoverGirl Clean. I don't even know what the other word is on it. Because I got it on sale and it has a little silk take it on it. As you can see, I bought it for $3.27. Now that's in my price range. I like buying makeups that are not super expensive if they work. So as you will go on and see, I really love to find stuff that's really inexpensive. So these are the two blushes that I use. 
I use this Wet n Wild. Both of them are Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. This one's a pearlescent pink. To me, it comes off as like a peachy color, which I really love. I use that kind of as the base. And I do like in a three pattern. One, one, two, three. Kind of like a, th a three pattern. Yeah. And then I also have this fantastic plastic pink. And I kind of put that a little bit over it just to kind of give a little bit of extra co color because I really like color. Then, of course, I have my foundation brush, which I need to wash. Then I have my Wet n Wild. I actually have two concealers. This one I actually use for a highlighter. It is the Beauty Counter Touch-Up Concealer Pen. I like it, but I like it at the very end of my makeup, and I use it for a highlighter. It's really light, and actually that's a really good tip, that if you need a highlighter, you can use just a lighter version of the concealer, and then... If you need, like, a concealer for dark circles, like, I have genetically really bad dark circles. Like, it doesn't matter if I sleep for 12 hours, 10 hours, 5 hours, or, you know, no sleep or a ton of sleep. I still have dark circles under my eyes. And so I always go in with a little bit darker than a lighter version and cover up those dark circles. And then I go in at the very last and do a little bit of highlighter under there. And it really look. I mean, in my opinion, it, it kind of does a really good job of covering up the dark circles. Like I had this, I have the cream blusher from Beauty Counter, and I do like it. It is a good one. Then I have the Beauty Counter mascara. I have two Beauty Counter lip glosses. Then I have two Beauty Counter, I think these are the, I don't remember, the tint, lip tints. And the packaging is very pretty, I'll have to admit it. Then I have this, my $1, which I'm almost out of. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I It's my eyeliner, which I use. It's black, and I get it from the Dollar Tree, and I go over this. And then once I put all my eye stuff on and I put my eyeliner on, I go over it with this one from the Dollar Tree. It is like LA Colors. I think these are both LA Colors, and I really love them. Dollar Tree has some pretty amazing stuff, and it's liquid, and it works really amazing. Then I also have this eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it's wet and wild as well. This one I use for my um, eyebrows most of the time. And the black one I hardly ever use unless I'm going to do that eyeliner. And then this is another one I like to do for my lips. Like I use that angled brush for my lips, rub it on and do some um, lip gloss, and it, it turns out really pretty. Then I also have this Rimmel Stay Matte in the color Soft Beige, and I really like it. It's really pretty. And it, it has really good coverage, and it just, it is what I would consider a full coverage. And this is the powder I use, the Fit Me Maybelline. It's fairly new. And I use the 120 Classic Ivory. Love that. And then the only thing I have left is my bobby pins. As you can see, it's already a well-loved bag. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing so you can catch me in the next one and i'll talk to you guys real soon Bye bye